garage were telling me that in the studio you are a little bit more responsible than the others as far as saying, well, this has to be, you know, we need a little bit more of this, a little bit less of that. You're a little bit more aware, or a little bit, I don't want to say in charge of, yeah. of the production end of it. And it occurs to me that um, it seems bass players make good producers. Uh, McCartney, Ant Whistle. And I'm wondering if it's just because of this idea of, uh, of, of the instrument that you play having the role that it does in the band uh, that makes you more maybe innately aware of what a final product should sound like or what you want. Hmm, hmm. I don't know about that one. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, no, we, we all, you know, we all, all of us, all four of us spend a great deal of attention to the production side, all four of us, you know. I mean, we all have specific ideas of how we want things to sound, you know. I mean, um, when Freddie's doing certain things, certain vocal things, you know, he knows the sound he wants, and he might not be able to sort of technically explain it, but that's where Mike Stone comes in, because he, um, you know, that's, that's a, the thing he does, he you know he gets the sound that people want. You know, um, I don't know. Perhaps say uh, Brian and myself, we're perhaps getting a little more interested in the technical side of things. You know, about how to actually work a desk and that sort of thing. I would I wouldn't mind doing that later on. You know, when we get some more time to do that sort of thing. Uh, like Brian and I have both got. Um, so we just got some sort of more equipment at home, you know, you know, sort of the graphic equalizers you have, you know. So we've got all the frequencies, you know, and we sort of, we, you know, we play around with those, and so we can find out what things do. And um, so, in a way, um, yes, I, I'm sort of interested in the in the sort of the um, engineering side, but I don't I don't really particularly play any part in that when we're making an album. That's usually done by Mike Stone, you know. Mm. Leave it to the professional. <laughs> Well, I'm thinking in terms too of you, when you say you and Brian are getting more into the technical and that, um, would you say that probably has something to do with uh, your training in school beforehand? Possibly, yes, because Brian and I are both science students, you know, science of the sort of maths and physics side, you know, and I did electronics at college as well, so I mean I am very interested in that side, and um, we, ha we are thinking possibly about um, building our own studio in England as well when we get back this summer. Um, it's about time now because we've, we've worked quite a lot of the studios in England and we're getting to the point now where not any one of them sort of um, is completely satisfies us with regards of equipment and everything, you know. So we, you know, we thought it might be t uh, time to actually sort of put our own together so we've always got, you know, a studio that is usable, that you know, that is uh, up to our specifications, you know. And it will be a, it will be a purely commercial studio as well, you know, for any other acts, you know, anybody else to use, you know. But um, be a nice, you know, nice thing to do, and I'd take a great interest in that, you know. Well, no.